Generation Stressed and uh, great tips and tools of how to overcome anxiety. Thank you. Uh, before we get to all this, w what's your take on what's going on right now and the anxiety, especially with the parents and the kids? Right. Well, there's a ton of un uncertainty. So anytime there's uncertainty, anxiety goes through the roof. And while kids might be pretty happy to do extend a play on their summer holiday, parents are struggling because it's a logistical nightmare. I know. I'm a parent. I'm experiencing it myself. And um, children absorb their parents' stress. So it's really affecting everybody. But you've got some exercises for us when it comes to the kids of what they can do to kind of overcome the anxiety. So let's start with the balloons over here. You got it. All of these are based from cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, which is basically the most effective way, hands down, to combat anxiety. And the balloon thought stopper is, is a great start. It basically teaches kids how to combat their negative thoughts by harnessing them and challenging rather than, challenging them rather than accepting them as, as truth. So go ahead and... and uh, okay, so say I'm thinking about a thought. Choose your balloon. The idea of fitting in, this is a big thing with kids. I remember feeling that back in the day. So I exactly, got my so be aware of the thought that goes with that and blow that thought right into the balloon, allowing it to leave your mind so you don't have to carry it with you and just externalize it right into the balloon. Okay. You gonna play along? Let's do it. Okay, here we go. Give it a good blow. Keep on blowing. Keep we on want blowing. it all the way out. Good, one more time. Okay, go ahead and hold up your balloon. Yeah. And let go of your balloon and the thought right along with it. That's one, it. two, three, let it go. So let's oh, forget there about we go. And then we're moving that bus and, and we're going to make some friends and the, the potential school year will be great. You got it. So you want to do something really important now and that is replace the negative thought with something that's going to be more positive. So go ahead and take your magic pen, write that down on your hand. Mm -hmm. If what you're believing was, I can't do it, maybe it becomes, I can do it. Mm -hmm. And go ahead and put that right into your mind. Okay. Okay. Power positive thinking. Now we only have like about a minute left, so I want to make sure we touch on the sponge and the wall. So quickly take us through the sponge. Okay, here exercise. we go. So this is progressive relaxation, squeezing the muscles and letting them go. Okay. Important neurochemicals are released into the body. Go ahead and put the sponge into the water. Notice where you're feeling stress in your body. Mm -hmm. Pull up the sponge, squeeze the sponge in your body, yeah. and let the stress go right with it. You know what this reminds me of? The stress balls that the adults have all the time. And, I know. They work. Uh, yeah, just focusing on something different. Okay, that's Good. a fun one. And then, you know, when you're talking about the power of positive thinking, you got the worry wall. We've got the worry wall. So we want to teach children how to externalize their worries. They're master worriers. So something as simple as uh, taking a notepad, writing the worry down, and putting it up on the worry wall can be really, really empowering. And then you want them to do something really important, and that is create the optimism wall so that they can shift their thinking towards something that's going to be a whole lot more supportive. This is just the beginning of uh, various tips and tools again in this book, Generation Stressed. Michelle Cambolis, thanks so much for coming on and sharing some ideas with us. And hopefully we're going back to school soon. Uh, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. We're following that story.